While the blast tube was technically a success, engine efficiency losses due to friction made a project where the blast tube was placed after the nozzle impractical. In order to make the rocket stable without adding nose weight, the K450 really needs to be placed 12 inches ahead of the aft end of the rocket. If the engine is fired in this configuration, friction losses and damage to the rocket body will continue to be a problem. So what to do? The other night, in the middle of the night, I got up to get a drink of water. When I got downstairs, I noticed that someone had left a comforter bunched up on the couch and it sort of looked like it was covering a body. I knew it was just a trick of the light, but it kind of freaked me out, so I went over and pulled back the covers just to be sure. Of course, nothing was there. While I was getting my drink of water, I started thinking how freaky it would be if I turned around and the covers were back how I found them. I knew it was ridiculous, but I had to check. And while I was screaming like a chick, I thought, hey, that would totally solve my rocket problem. So off to bed I went, thinking about how I was going to solve the Coyote rocket engine design by just pulling back the proverbial covers. I decided to start by looking at some K450 static test photos, then drawing and measuring a few lines to trace the exhaust plume. By doing this, I determined that the exhaust was leaving the engine and expanding at an angle of approximately 15 degrees. Using this information, I drew two lines representing the exhaust plume on a drawing of the Coyote rocket. I then erased the end of the rocket body a little before where the exhaust would normally come in contact with it. This left the fins hanging 8 inches below the rocket body on the aluminum fin channels, and since they probably need a little support, I decided to add a 1 inch piece of rocket body to the bottom of the fins. When this piece is bolted on, it should do a nice job of keeping the fins stable. Now I just need to see if this design will fly, and that means I need to build it. The best part of this design is that the K450 engine sits 12 inches ahead of the end of the rocket body, just like I wanted. There's no added weight from a blast tube, and actually a weight reduction from the small section of rocket body that was removed. This one inch piece will be the only part of the rocket body that will be exposed to the exhaust gases besides the edges of the fins. I don't think that it'll have too much of an adverse effect on the performance of the engine. The plastic ring may not hold up too well to the exhaust gases, but it can always be changed out with a more resilient aluminum ring at a later date.